For a really long time, Apple's AirTag products have been one of the only true great trackers out there that allows you to track your device very accurately um, from really anywhere in the world as long as there were iPhones near it. And for a long time, people were wondering why Google didn't do something similar. There are way more Android phones out there than Apple phones in terms of the entire world. And it would make a lot of sense. And finally they did it. It's been a long time coming. I got my Chipolo points. And these are one of the first true Android or Google Find My Device trackers out there. Um, and I purchased these last year and it's been kind of a long process that I'm gonna quickly go into. So yes, I purchased these for myself. I originally purchased them in June of 2023. I then canceled due to the delay. There was no reasons given for the delay. Um, nobody really said it was due to anything. And when I asked about it, they just said they couldn't ship them out yet. Then a little while later, it was announced that the Find My Device update that was supposed to have all these things was getting delayed due to some stuff between Apple and Google because Apple had to work with Google on this in order for some of the safety features like the whole unwanted tracking situation. After I found that out, I reordered knowing that I probably wouldn't get it for a while. And I reordered it in July. Finally, it arrived this past week on Friday and I'm super happy about it. So I ended up buying four of the one trackers, which are coin size, very similar to the AirTag. And then I bought two of the card trackers, which are what they sound like. They're a card and they're meant to be put into like a wallet or a passport wallet or something like that. Now, this isn't my first time with trackers. I tried Tile long time ago and I was just really disappointed with how unreliable they were and the tracking just wasn't great. So I'm really hopeful for this, considering it's part of the network, considering how great Apple's stuff has worked, you know, for a really long time now. And the fact that there are just so many Android phones out there. So again, this relies on Google's Find My Device network. And keep in mind, Android has an estimated three plus billion users versus iOS's one and a half maybe billion. And it can also use a bunch of other non-Android specific devices like speakers and smart displays that are within your own home. Keep in mind again, this is a Bluetooth tracker, so it does require Bluetooth to work. It is not cellular. So just like with the Apple AirTags, these do require a phone to pass by them to be able to locate them. Um, and it's super important that it has to be an Android phone, just like with the AirTags, it has to be an iPhone to pass by them in order to update their location. With these, it would have to be an Android phone that would pass by. Even though the companies are working together for safety reasons, their devices don't track themselves uh, across those two platforms. It's only for safety purposes. Now, the trackers also have built-in speakers, so they can make quite a bit of noise, and we will go over that in a little bit as well. On the Coin Style 1, there is a replaceable battery. It's a CR2032, which is a very common battery that you can basically get anywhere. Unfortunately though, the card battery cannot be replaced. So that is a bit of a bummer and we'll go over that a little bit as well. So as mentioned, this requires Google's Find My Device um, and make sure you have it updated to the newest version so that it is supported. And it also requires you to be on Android 9.0 or newer. Now Android 9.0 is from 2018 and over 95% of the current Android user base is using something 9.0 or above. So you should be pretty good. There are many ways to find out which version of Android you're on. You're able to go into your settings and go to your software information, usually in the about phone section, and you can find your Android version. And I'm on version 12 on this Note 10 that I'm using right now to showcase the devices. And let's go ahead and look at the devices. So we have all of the boxes here, but we also have this little card from the CEO basically saying, hey, we didn't have, this didn't go as planned. You know, everything got delayed and they gave us a promotion code on the back for a slight little discount, so that's great. It doesn't apply to this purchase, it applies to any other purchases I wanna make. And the first one here that we're gonna open is one of the ones, which is the little coin version. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. It's very easy to pair these as well. So there we go. And it's a very small device. Um, I have large hands, but it is quite small. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and pair that one. 
Let's also get one of the cards open. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going and pull this guy out. And I'm gonna open this over here because there is a code underneath there. Um, here is the card, a lot thinner. We'll go over that in a second. But the reason I opened it off camera there is because they do give you a 50% off discount when you wanna replace this because it does not have a replaceable battery. So it sucks that it doesn't have a replaceable battery. It's nice that they're at least giving you a discount when you do have to replace it but it just means that I'm probably not going to be buying these again. I'm probably just gonna continue with these unless I find these to be extremely useful in the next approximately two years that they say that these batteries are good for. So we're not gonna open up all the rest of these. They're all the exact same, but we have one of the coin versions and one of the card. And as you can see, the card is a lot thinner than the coin. Um, obviously very different form factor. They both feel good, they're both plastic. The Find My Device Network ones, so the Point series only come in white right now. That might change in the future, but as of right now, they only come in white, so do keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and get this thing paired. It is super easy, I already have one paired. We're gonna pair this one, so we're just gonna click it. It'll make a noise. And there we go, and we can go ahead and connect. You're going to be going through a bunch of prompts when these do connect. It's going to tell you a bunch of things that you're going to need to do in terms of adding to the Find My Device network. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. And now we're right in here. So this is awesome. Um, it is telling me that it's right beside me. So very easy setup. And now we have it here. We have a bunch of settings that we can do. We can go ahead and we can change the device name. We can give it a category so we can say whether it's a bag, a bike, camera, headphones, keys, phone, tablet, wallet, or other. That's pretty cool. You can also go ahead and share your device with other people. So if you do wanna share your device with a family member, with a friend, say you're traveling um, and you wanna just make it a lot easier for someone to know when you're gonna arrive somewhere, or you go ahead and you lend a luggage to a friend, but you wanna keep your tracker in there so you don't they don't lose your luggage, you can also share it that way as well. Lots of reasons to share, but it's pretty awesome that they give you that option. Now there are some offline device settings that you may want to change. So by default, your Find My Device will be with network and high traffic areas only. So only when there are multiple devices nearby will it update your device's location. You can go ahead and change that to network in all areas, which means that even if one or two devices pass by your tracker, it will update the location. There's a whole article on this if you wanna read more into it. I'm gonna turn on the all areas um, just because I do want to be able to find my stuff whenever. I don't need it to only be when it's in a high traffic location. And now we got our devices. So this is pretty awesome. Very, very easy to set up again. So now let's go ahead and do some close tracking. So when it's within your own home, remember that these are using Bluetooth so the distance that it's actually going to tell you that something is far away is only within Bluetooth range. That limitation doesn't fully apply if the tracker is by a Nest device, as I mentioned earlier. If you have a Nest device, whether it's a speaker or a smart display in your home, those are also able to tell when a tracker is nearby and it'll tell you so. So for example, the little demo unit I have, it is telling me it is near my kitchen speaker. So let's go ahead and go find it. All right, don't mind the mess, but we're gonna go find this little guy by my kitchen speaker. And off we go. And if we come in to the kitchen, it is right there, right beside my kitchen speaker. Now, you can also go ahead and do the find nearby and it will tell me that it's right here. If I move a little bit further away from it, it'll tell me it's very close. If I move even further away, it'll tell me it's close. And if I move far enough away, it will tell me that I am too far away for the connection. Now I can also play the sound. And the sound's pretty loud. I think it goes all the way up to 90 decibels. We can go ahead and test that. But there we go, we were able to find it. And there we go. 
So unfortunately, I don't have an actual decimal meter to test the volume of these, um, but I thought I may as well just use one of the built-in ones on the phone and just kind of show how loud it can get. You can hear how loud it gets in the video um, and determine whether or not it's loud enough for you. I think it's actually pretty loud. I can hear it from the other side of the house pretty well, especially when it gets to the end of the tone. So I think it does a pretty good job, but we will kind of see what my voice is at around here. And then we will see what it's like when it's completely quiet. And then we'll see how loud it gets when the actual tracker is making noise. So again, this decimal meter is just kind of going all over the place. It showed to peak around 82 or something. Uh, these are rated to go up to, I think, 120, and I think the card is rated to go up to about 90. Um, so do keep that in mind. Now, also, getting to the replaceable battery in these is super easy. You will have this little slot on the side here. All you do is you put a flat-headed screwdriver in there. You just give it a little twist, and then you can go ahead and pull it apart. And we have our battery right there. Super easy to get to and replace on the coins. As we've mentioned before, the cards unfortunately do not have a replaceable battery. Now, one thing that I haven't really been able to fully understand yet is the mark is lost feature. Um, it mentions that you will be notified if it ever gets found after you've marked it as lost and you can add contact info. It says that it will provide information to someone if they tap it. But as far as I've been able to tell when testing, I can mark this thing as lost and tap it to my phone and nothing happens. So maybe it just hasn't been fully implemented or updated in the app yet. Um, but if that feature does come, it would be awesome if it says what it's gonna do. Um, it'd be cool, you know, you can add a message and say email or call me if found, and then you can add a phone number or an email address. So that's pretty sweet. Now, I also mentioned that there's a bunch of safety features and things that they worked on with Apple specifically. The unwanted tracking is that is that feature, right? It's the same thing with the AirTags, where even if you're on an Android phone, if an AirTag is following you around, you will be notified by your phone that there is a tracker following you. Google wanted to make sure that the same thing was available for iOS users if one of the Google uh, tracking devices was following around an iOS user. So they have that feature implemented and that's great. They also have end-to-end -end encryption of location data, which is great. Some at-home protections. And if you want to read more in depth about all of this security and safety features that they've implemented, I will leave a link to the blog in the description. Now, as for the pricing, currently the pricing isn't anything spectacular, but I have a feeling over time it will be better. Um, their pricing is about on par with everybody else at their regular prices. In terms of pricing, the coin version or the one is $28 for one or $79 for four. The card is $35 for one, $60 for two or $112 for four. And then they also have the bundle for $77 where you get two of the coins and you get one of the cards. So, you know, you have quite a few options here. Um, again, I ended up buying four of the coins and two of the cards. It's gonna be really interesting to see what Chipolo does because they do have their iOS version, which is the Spot. And they also have their proprietary version, but I feel like their proprietary version, kind of like Tile, is basically gonna be useless at this point. You'd be a lot better off getting one of the network supported ones like Apple's AirTags or something that uses the Find My Device network. I have a really good feeling all of the tracker companies like Samsung and Tile are gonna be releasing their own Find My Device network devices. And I'm sure over the next year, we're probably gonna see a lot more of them. If there are gonna be any more and you're interested in me covering them, please let me know in the comments. Um, this is the only one that I have known of for a while. And I purchased them again over basically a year ago. Um, but if you are interested in me covering some of the other Android trackers and comparing them to the Chipolo, please do let me know. Now it's not all great. Uh, there are some shortcomings of the Chipolo trackers that I think they might be able to change some of them. Uh, some of them they may not be able to. I do wish that the card had a replaceable battery and it not having a replaceable battery does make me a lot less 
likely to repurchase it in the future once these batteries die. Um, if I find a very specific use case where the card is the only thing that fits somewhere, for example, in my wallet or in my password wallet or something, then maybe. Um, but in most situations, this little coin guy is going to be more than enough for me. I don't often lose small devices. I, I often lose large things or even it's not about me losing them. It's about them being taken. So these are going to be a lot more handy for me. Um, I did buy these just to give them a try and to see how they're working. And you know what, maybe in the next two years, maybe I do forget my wallet somewhere and I'll be able to find it really quickly. So we'll see. Um, that also kind of leads to the fact that I'm going to be doing this a long, I'll do a long-term review maybe next year of how these have worked for me so far. I'm going to be doing a couple trips, some camping trips, um, you know, life will happen and maybe I will forget something somewhere and I'll have to use them. So I will do a long-term review. If you're interested in that, get subscribed and let me know if you're interested in the, in the comments as well. Now there is a feature that I wish they they did have, and it's not Chipolo's fault, but it Google's fault within the Find My Device network, but I wish there was a left behind feature. So you can mark certain devices um, as something that you would wanna be notified on your phone if you're leaving it behind. So if your phone and the device go out of range of one another, it will tell you. Um, it can be extremely handy for things like keys and wallet where you normally will have them close to your phone Maybe within your own home, it won't tell you, but if you leave your, your home and it doesn't notice those devices with you, it'll tell you stuff like that. I think it'd be super, super handy to have. And I think Apple has, has that on the AirTags. And I think some of the other devices have that. I think even Chipolo has it on their proprietary ones, but on these uh, Find My Device Network ones, they do not have that feature. I wish they did. I also do wish that these had something similar to what the AirTags have with the ultra wideband for more accurate location when you're trying to find something close to you. Um, I feel like it does a pretty good job and I don't have a large enough house for it to really be a problem. Um, you know, it tells you if it's close, it tells you if it's far, it doesn't really tell you the location or the direction that it is compared to you like the AirTags do. That's just a small shortcoming. Um, you know, when you're comparing it to other devices, they have it and this one doesn't, it does give those other devices a little bit of an edge. So, I mean, that's it for now. I am really excited to get a lot more use out of these. I'm excited to do some traveling, get some travel use out of these. I did want to put this video out as soon as possible after getting them, um, after getting used to them and getting a little bit of personal use, you know, putting them somewhere far away, um, and having them tracked. So they've been great to me so far. I am really liking the form factor. I'm liking the way that they feel. Um, this fits very, very well in my wallet. It, you do have to be careful though, cause it is thicker than a standard credit card. So if you do have a, you know, minimal wallet where it only fits a certain amount of cards, this may take up the amount of two cards instead of just one. So do keep that in mind as well. But overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, I think these are great. And I'm really curious if you are interested in picking some of these up, I will leave links in the description. They're not affiliate links or anything. They're just directly to Chipolo's website if you do wanna check them out. And leave some comments down below if you're interested in these, if you're on Android and you've been waiting for something like this. Um, I'd really like to know what you guys think. But with all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. If you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can also leave those down in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them all as quick as I can. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors and thanks to you for watching to the end of this video. If you want to check out any of the other videos where I talk about products, whether it is a review, an unboxing, or just talking about them, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.